So pentatonic scales are some of those scales that a lot of us know how to play, a lot of us know how to use them, but a lot of us, especially beginners I see, tend to use them just one or two ways, and especially over the blues. But the thing about the pentatonic scales, actually it can be used in a lot more creative and musical ways to conceptualize different kinds of seventh chords. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over eight different kinds of chords that you can play the minor and major pentatonic scales over. That's coming right up. All right, hey, what's up? Brent here from LearnJazzStandards.com, which is a blog, a podcast, and videos all geared towards helping you become a better jazz musician. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure you do that below. Hit that subscribe button and get locked into all the new stuff that is going on. On. So I'm going to go through this little presentation with you just to help us see the different chord and scale applications here. And it's up to you to really pick the ones that kind of are interesting to you that you want to try out in your playing. So let's check this out. So let's start with first things first. What is a pentatonic scale for those of you who don't know this? So a pentatonic scale is a musical scale with five notes or penta. That's why they call it penta per octave. So the two most common are the major and the minor pentatonic scale. So let's quickly go over those just in case you don't know what those are. So this is a major pentatonic scale. This is a C major pen pentatonic scale. And there's a, just a C major chord for reference. So just five notes. Right, and for every single major scale or every major key, there's always a relative minor key. And so what is that for the key of concert C major? major? It's A minor. So we also have the A minor pentatonic scale. Right? There's a minor chord. All right, so a lot of us know these scales already. They're really important for blues, R&B, stuff like this. So a lot of us have a handle of these scales already, but it's worthy to note that, you know, you can really start these scales on any single note, and it's really going to be the same the same note, the same scale, all the same thing. So we could start this A minor pentatonic starting on the flat third, right? So that's starting on C. And that's really just the C major pentatonic scale. Or we could start it on the fourth, so... Right? Or we could also start it on the fifth or the, the flat seven. Right, So that's important to note because over the next eight examples that I'm going to give you, sometimes I'll be starting these scales on different notes. It's really just the same scale, the same A minor pentatonic scale. So let's go over these. I'm going to be basing these mostly off of the A minor pentatonic scale so that we don't confuse too much, but I will be referencing the relative major as well. So the first one, number one, is root minor chords. We can play the minor pentatonic scale over root minor chords. So there's an A minor seventh, and we can play the A minor pentatonic scale. Right, now this is one that we are very familiar with. This comes to no surprise. It's called a minor pentatonic scale for a reason. So this makes sense. So that's number one, the root minor. Now, no, number two is the root dominant seventh. So this is where the blues really comes in. A lot of us are familiar with this. So if we got an A7, we know that we can play the minor pentatonic, the A minor pentatonic over top of this. this works really well over top of a dominant seventh chord is it really outlines that sharp nine so it really gives that bluesy sound right so it doesn't necessarily define the chord because it doesn't have that major third in there but you get that gritty sharp nine in there so it makes it sound bluesy okay so that's number two that's root dominant seventh chords all right, moving on, let's talk about the relative major now, right? We know this, we talked about this a second ago. So we have the relative major. And so see the C relative major in this particular case, you could play a C major seventh chord. So C major seven of any type, right? Doesn't matter how, how it sounds, you can play this. So that's the relative major over a major seventh chord. All right, the next one is the two chord 
of the relative major. So now, for now, I'm going to relate everything back to the relative major chord, which in this case is C major, so that we can really start to go outside of the obvious ones. And this is kind of the first example of one that kind of strays away from the obvious. So the two relative majors, so the major key we're in is C major. What's the two chord of C major? It's D minor, right? So this is a D minor seventh chord, and we're just going to start uh, our A minor scale on the D, right? So All right, so but listen to this sound. Okay, so that's the two chord over the relative major. So over D minor seven, the key of concert C, we can play an A minor pentatonic, or if you will, a C major pentatonic. All right, the next choice we have is a four chord of the relative major. So again, if we're relating everything back to the key of concert C, what is the four chord in concert C major? That is F major. Okay, so we can play an A minor pentatonic over this since an F isn't actually in the A minor pentatonic, we'll just start on an A. So we have the F major seventh chord. Right, kind of sounds pretty. All right, so that's the four chord over the relative major. So the F major seventh, you can play an A minor pentatonic scale. All right, so the next one is kind of interesting, and I like this one a lot because a lot of us don't know what to do over sus chords, and a minor pentatonic is actually a decent way to conceptualize it if you'd like to. So in this case, we're doing the five sus four chord over the relative major. So again, what is the five chord to C major? It's G, and we're gonna do a sus chord. In particular, I have C, I have a G13 sus written down because the 13th is really gonna come out in this A minor pentatonic, and of course, so does that sus four in the A minor pentatonic. And again, we could start this on G if we wanted to, but here's the sound. So you hear that sound, other than that little blip I made a second ago, but you, you heard that sound, right? So really actually outlines the sus chord really well. So that's an interesting one to try. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now this one is, is pretty interesting. So th I think almost you should ignore what I've titled this. I've titled it two minor pentatonic over the, the seventh chord, because I'm still trying to keep the theme of relating everything back to the relative major. But to keep things simple, actually, let's just do it this way. So we have a B minor 7 flat 5 chord. So B minor 7 half diminished. And like the sus chord, we always struggle with coming up with ways to conceptualize playing over top of these half diminished chords. Like, you know, what do we play? So oftentimes we say the Locrian mode. But another way to conceptualize it is playing a minor pentatonic scale, a minor third up from that chord. Okay, so I'll say that again. B minor 7 flat 5 play a minor third up, a, a minor pentatonic scale. So if we were to go a minor third up from B, what would it be? It would be D, okay? So here's the sound. So this is a D minor pentatonic. Right, you hear the sound come out really nicely. Now, why is that? If you play the first inversion of a B minor 7 flat 5, you are essentially playing a D minor 6 chord. And you may have even noticed I slid the 6 in there when I was improvising because that 6 really is a sound that's present, obviously, in the B minor 7 flat 5. So. Okay, so that is a 2 minor pentatonic over the 7th chord, or rather, you can think of it as playing uh, a minor pentatonic a minor third up from whatever half diminished chord you are playing. All right, so this is a really, 
really classic use here of the minor pentatonic that you will see all the time. People approaching a B flat major seven, or rather just a major seven flat five chord by playing a minor pentatonic a half step down from that major seven flat five. So in our particular example, we have a B flat major seven flat five. So that sounds like this. Okay, this is like really modern jazz stuff here. So if I want, if I go a half step down from B flat, that note is A. So I can play an A minor pentatonic over top of this B major seven flat five, and it's gonna sound great because it's hitting all those notes that I wanna hit, including that flat five or that sharp 11 of the B flat major. Okay, so that's a minor pentatonic a half step down from a major seven flat five chord. All right, so those are some different options. And obviously this was all based off of the key of C and uh, the relative minor A minor, right? So it would be smart for you to understand these concepts and how they work and translate them into other keys to truly grasp this concept. But this is really what I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Which one of these applications of the minor pentatonic are you going to practice this week? Which ones are you most interested in? Post that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Now, this is actually just one small lesson that comes out of my uh, jazz theory and improvisation book called Zero to Improv. It's a book that really helps you, you know, learn how to improvise in a jazz setting from the ground up. We go over a lot of music theory concepts like this and conceptualizing musical ideas so we can understand them better. So if you want to check that out, that's at zero to improv dot com. All right, so that's all for the video today. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you being here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.